Right, okay. Well, we've retreated to the safe haven of Karima's car to have a quick chat. Luckily, you can't see me for once, which is nice. Um, with Karima Francis. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm alright, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. Good, so you've just ro rolled off the view stage at Boardmasters. Oh, it was, I, I loved it, it was such a good gig. It was crazy though, I could hear like three different types of music all up there at once, it was crazy. It's um... It's like, I said it was like, on stage it was like playing in a collide, is it a kaleidoscope? You know them, them triangles? Yeah, things? yeah. Yeah, yeah, one of them, it's like um just like all different sounds and tempos coming, it was weird. Have you ever had a, a drum and bass backing? <laughs> yes, yes, we have actually, um, the Secret Garden Party. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it became a drum and bass set. We actually just started playing to the beats. Oh, right. No, we didn't really. Well, we that's, didn't. The, that's the problem with, I suppose, it's not a huge festival site, is it? And they've tried to cram lots and lots in it. Oh, no, um, but, it, it, but it is beautiful, I mean, like... Well, the, a gig the, on the cliffs, you Yeah, can't... the view behind us is just insane. I'm actually wanting to go on the beach now, so... Well, you can, you can, can't you? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a quick walk down the hill. So. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, no, it's a lovely you beach. You're going to me. So, your album's out on Monday. Yes. That's just your second album. Yeah, it is. I can't believe yeah. it. Can you, can you believe it? I'm no, just I can't so, believe. I'm so bloody, I'm so happy, like, with the way that everything's going at the minute. And, you know, just to get another, another crack at the whip, it's like, it's just amazing. And, and it's like, it's almost like one of them things, it's like, you know, like it just proves that, like, if you make a good record, which I, I, I genuinely believe it's just like ten really good songs, mm -hmm. and like I don't really, I don't ever, I don't talk to myself like that, um, like bigging myself up a lot. I just, I just think it flows as a piece of music, you know, from start to finish, and um, it's kind of like, it's the best thing that I've ever done. You know, it's far better than my first record, and I'm really just, I'm just really proud of it because. It's just what I wanted to make. It's the sound that I had in my head, and everything. Is I think how it, I, I think I think it shows as well. Do you you think? know, I think I think it comes through. The, the, I mean, the the songs that have, have, have made it out onto the radio so far have been very powerful and really kind of. You sit up and take notice of them. I think. Wow. Which is, well, that's really nice of you. That's right. Yeah. I feel so rude that I'm running. I'm going to take my glasses. Okay, take your glasses. So, so are you are you really are you excited or nervous or a little bit of both for my um, both um, I'm very very excited but at the same time I mean I, obviously I, I want it to go really well and I, I want to get the opportunity to just go out and tour for the next few years like I just want to tour and gig every single day like I but um, you know um, it's always it's always like you're always quite wary aren't you you know whether it's you know how the, how people are gonna receive it, but yeah. so far, I mean, the reviews have just been great, like mm -hmm. um, across all the scales. You know, mm -hmm. national papers and and obviously the radio, um, the radio two stuff and like all regional radio. Everything's gone really well. Like um, I don't know, I just have to stay focused, don't I? I mean, I'm, you know, I've kind of done this record now. All I want to do is like gig it, which is amazing. And, mm -hmm. For me, like, I just want to focus on writing my third, which I've already started doing. So, so how how long do you think you'll give this one before you? Well, you know, I I want to give it a bit a bit of chance. I'd like to release a third record in a few weeks, but it's <laughs> this one's not even out yet. So, you know. Well, that's good though. I mean, if you've got, if, I suppose, if the creative process continues, you've got to, you've got to. Yeah, I need to keep, keep hold because, of it while it's coming. Because the sound's changed again. Not not changed, but like I've kind of stripped back even more on the new material. Mm -hmm. So. I shouldn't be talking about that, should I? Well, yeah, I shouldn't be talking about the album now. I'm sorry. That's good, you know. It's a scoop. It's hot. <laughs> this car's hot, isn't it? It's hot, but at least it's quiet. Yeah, I know, it's lovely. I feel like we should just um, just like go silent for a minute. Should we just yeah. take a minute? You might. Time? People might be able to hear. It sounds like a siren of some sort. I have no idea. Well, there we go. We've, we've given it a bit of silence. Yeah. So you're back in Cornwall next I, month. Yeah, I start. I think is it the is it the twelfth of tap house? It's the twelfth or the thirteenth. Yeah, one of those days. And, it's yeah, a Thursday. I'm doing like it? four dates in Cornwall, so um, I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, it's just amazing. Whenever we've played down here, people have always been so just amazing, like very very generous and listened, you know. And, Beautiful people as well. Mm. I've never had any problems here. No, it's a nice, nice part of the world. So, um, are you from here? 
Well, not originally. I live here. Right. I live about three miles that way. Okay. Um, which so is where great. Are you from? I'm from Birmingham originally. Oh really? Yeah. Your voice is gone, hasn't it? You yeah, the accent. accent yeah, like it, it comes back when I get annoyed. Yeah. We. Um, oh really? Yeah. Yeah, we used to be in a, a Brummie accent now because um, our tour manager he's from Birmingham, so. I'd be salt of the earth then, isn't it? Yeah. He? Yeah. <laughs> but so um, what what aside from next month have you got touring plans? For the rest of the year, or is it just taking it as it comes? There isn't anything in at the minute. I'm, you know, I'm, we're, we're trying, we're trying to get supports, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be happening, which is weird. Because I mean, I, I'm an artist that needs to be out on the road all the time. Like mm. playing live is what feeds me as a person, you mm. know. And, and it makes me very depressed to know that I don't have a gig the day after, or you know, I, I like to work and I wish I could just do loads of promo radio and then do. Mm. And do a gig every day for the rest of my life. Mm. Wish it was like that, but it's um, yeah. I'm, we're just fingers crossed. We're trying to get on some support tours, and then I, I just don't know. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. Mm. I suppose doing all these festivals as well. You never know who's watching at some point that thinks it should be perfect to go out with some guy. Oh, or... that'd be amazing. Just yeah, just to get on a great tour would be so good. It'd be so good. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everyone, cross your fingers. Do it now. And, uh, okay, well, thank you, Karima. Thank and, um, you very much for having me. It was a great set, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the Tap House in a couple of weeks. I look forward to coming back. Last time I was there, by the way, I was um, pouring my own pints, and uh, I ended up in a, in a bad mess. You know? It's a rowdy old place. <laughs> it's a rowdy old place. I can't wait to come back. But honestly, thank you for, for having me, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Take care. Right on. <laughs>